Good morning and welcome to Voices of Bungoma. This is Bungoma Chats with me, Abel Simiu. Uh, today I'm honored to have with me Mr. Joel Lomondi. He is a seminarian, an advocate on youth matters, uh, on leadership, mental health, and generation, uh, generational equity. Uh, he is also a former member of County Assembly aspirant in Township Ward, Bungoma. And before that, he served as an executive director under the Bungoma Youth Connect. Karibu sana. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Sanjay. Yes. So let's start off uh, probably by the Salimia Wanainchi and you tell us how was the political experience in the just concluded 2022 elections. Thank you so much. Naitwa uh, Joel Omondi from Majina and um, uh, I was an aspirant in the just concluded August election. I vote for the Mungoma Township Board, uh, MCA seat, and um, I can say that uh, it was an experience. I really don't regret anything. Mm. I I have learned the lesson that I gained through the process. Yes. <laughs> 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 so, thank you, Kablo, to be here. There is a lesson because we know teachers days now. Don't assume we are not going to assume we are being ex girlfriends. We are the best teachers. We are going to voters. We are going to be watching them. We are going to be with them. We are going to be with them. We are going to be with them. So, probably. Nini likupeleka that you finally decided kwamba you wanted to go ahead and offer yourself as a young person because it's not easy just to come up and say okay I'm going through the course I'm going to sacrifice my resources and I'm going to see this through because you're on the ballot. Mm -hmm. What led you to get to that point of saying okay this is what I want to do? Uh, actually I'm um, a moment resident I I was born and brought up in Mtayango kabisa Mtayango. Now Kuangalia mtaa challenges zenye ziko pale mtaani mm -hmm. ukiangalia unaona actually you are not being represented mm -hmm. kwa sababu ukiangalia uh, the, the, kuna hizi challenges zenye zimekuwa mm -hmm. over period of time mm -hmm. uh, ukikuja uangalia kuna challenges kama maji unapata mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a problem yes. in township ward yes yes ukikuja uangalia barabara the other day in my place kulikuwa na private developer kwa mefunga barabara mm. and then there was no one to speak up for the people yes. kwa hivyo napata pale mtani watu wanarudi wana kwambi ee hey, ni mwishimewa ebu wenda uwone mendiga barabara itafunguli wata kwa ulipita ama ukupita so there are kuna lot of challenges that we are going through mm -hmm. back in our communities mm -hmm. and I took this one as opportunity yes. to offer solution to these challenges that we are going through that was why I offered myself that position probably hiyo safari unajua watu wengi wanaona tu kuitwa mheshimiwa but hawajui what goes into ukiamka asubuhi ume experience how long was the process hiyo ya ya kwenda kuvai how long ilichukua muda gani when were you actively involved and how long did you take to campaign how much how much time did you put into your campaign uh, actually um i i started uh, I started this journey sometimes back mm. uh, through my community involvement initiatives mm -hmm. and um, the end goal was actually getting to the, to ballot. the, player, to the ballot yeah. and so I can say it's like been a three year journey, yeah. I can say it's a one year journey because Lakini kuna ile, ile season after window of I think 90 mm -hmm. days in, yeah. in Alawio mm -hmm. Ulikuwa able kuingia aggressively for the 90 days ama strategy yako ilibidi mpunguza siku ndio actually ilibidi nipunguze sasa hapo 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 ndio nataka tuongee sana kuhusu kwa vile unajua watu wanaona tu mtu anakuja akwambia ulianguka ama tuli tuliwaangusha unaona wewe kama wana siasa na ile kwamba unajua hiyo ni nisara lakini kabla tuombe venye umeangoje <laughs> we just talk a little bit about now expectation then you know man after 3 years umefanyiwa tu kazi umeonyesha kwamba unaweza serve kitu gani yenye huko dania utamit kwa ground yule dania pengine watu wanakujua najua mostly kwa na siasa ukienda kwa ground wetu ni tofauti hiyo kati yao nilikuwa msema nasema what what was different for you kwa ground ah uh, okay nikirudi back now for the duration actually i uh, mean kwa nataka kuvaa hiyo na 
on a, an ODM party ticket mm-hmm. and then uh, yangu ilikuwa that journey of kuna weka mungu mm-hmm. mbele so unangoja when the next step unangoja so you you have actually been in ODM for a while i've been in ODM for a while for more than five years right uh, yes i was uh, i was the township board of the youth coordinator mm-hmm. in 2017 i was the chief agent country constituency of ODM mm-hmm. i also was the strategist of the former MCA Joseph Maguda. Mm-hmm. So I've been in ODM like <laughs> kwa muda <laughs> kwa muda. Yes. Na so uh wa wakati sasa tulikuwa tunataka kwenda preliminaries za ODM mm-hmm. and then uh, tuka realize ya kwamba kuende kukuwa na preliminaries mm-hmm. and that is why I opted for another party that is Kanu. So naweza sema Unatoka ODM Kanu Kanu wakati mgeni. <laughs> okay, nilitoka ODM to Kanu. Ulienda wakati wa transfer window. Yeah. Nenda wakati wa transfer. <laughs> yes, wakati wa transfer window. Yes. Na it happened uh, that there was a time that uh, Gideon Moyo was coming to Bungoma mm-hmm. wakati bado alikuwa one Kenya mm-hmm. the um, Mdabadi Kalo. Yes, yes, yes. yes and the team. Na wakati wa kuwa nakuja Bungoma, apparently there was someone mwenye tulikuwa na ODM and yes. uh, we on my mobilization ability then i can invite and then that is where it all started and that is where i ended up in Kanu. so here you are yes in a part yes. kwanza what radio here wakati you transfer window we see people getting aggravated the same way you have invested time in a party you make a mugu umekuwa loyal five years plus mm. But then of course there the, 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 the interests za za chama mm-hmm. and then there is your personal interest. Mm-hmm. So in this sense you also I think ulikuja kwa kwamba you are you're not able to to fit mm-hmm. in that party and you decided. But kuna ule wenye hapo pato kutinjo ta kupatio kanu and they ended up independent. Mm-hmm. Probably wewe as a, a member of the party you are in. Mm-hmm. How did the, uh, come as a young person how what is the benefit of being in a political party mm-hmm. and like me nisemi mimi niko na ideologies niko na watu na miaminia that's mama independent mm-hmm. uh, the benefits of a political party the most the, the main benefit ni the organization aspect mm-hmm. and um unapata in a party you are more organized and then uh, inakuwa easy for you to campaign through because as much as you are selling yourself Mm-hmm. There is also the party is also playing part. Mm-hmm. Uh mara mingi wakati we were doing campaign, I did most of my campaign in Fanya Dot to Dot. So wakati tulikuwa tunafanya hizo campaign, the first question mtu angekuuliza ni uko kwa chama gani. <laughs> oh. yes. So ni kama watu wameka that chama kwanza, then uko kwa chama gani and then they'll ask you uko kwa coalition gani. Yes. Yeah. You so ni chama kwanza then, then the coalition. coalition. So where does the independent person and nobody work? Sasa huyu independent person hapa hapo yeah. na kazi ya ku like hapo na kazi ngumu mm-hmm. ya kujiuza yeye mwenyewe mm-hmm. kwa sababu akiwa in that scenario ukiuliza uko kwa chama gani na independent kwanza utasema mimi nimesi kwa kwa chama niko independent. Yes. Unaona. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo you have to tell more about yourself. Mm-hmm. Hii ingine mtu ata ata eka mind yake kwa party so you won't have a lot of time talking about yourself yes. but again looking at it from my experience yes. na hii siasa naona ni kama naona ni kama wa, wale watu ambao walikuwa kwa independent mm. walikuwa better off kuliko sisi watu wenye tulikuwa kwa chama kwa <laughs> uchaguzi ambao umepita Okay kabla tuende hapo mm-hmm. ume umesema you have just taken us well mm-hmm. and probably if you've just joined us this is the voices of Bungoma uh, I am Abel Simio and we are having a chat with Mr. Simio Mr. he has told me ni mheshimu because mm-hmm. kati alitaka kuwa mheshimiwa mm-hmm. hatukumpa heshima mm-hmm. um and he's just talking to us about Fair, uh, the the political season and how to deal with the a loss in election and currently just taking us through the importance of a political party um i can see some of you of genders i can see the the events ngura can say and asema dreams are valid mm-hmm. mr joel thank you Evans. yes uh, i can see yes i can see the a couple of people were with us there now tunaambia you can invite your fl- friends to join us na pia you can po- uh, drop your questions for Um, Joel to be able to also so that to, to discuss in and to do kwamba where do we fall as youth in this space of politics mm-hmm. and also how do you deal 
with Gonka Kura kwa vile leo ni zashinda na kesho uanguke Joel alianguka kwa mm-hmm. but he has pulled himself up and is back here to share with us tips mm-hmm. and also how to navigate the political space mm-hmm. so join us on all social platforms but right now you can get us live on Facebook and drop your question comment or uh, critique so that you are able also to know what you can do better so coming back to that you should can you be you've just told me very well kwamba um chama ina mata sana na venye ground kwanza na receive kama una chama unapata bongo points then kama uko independent you have to send yourself more but to create a chama you have talked also about coalitions na tunajua kama you as a person you decide to go into kanwa and kanwa that particular point was in the azmia coalition now kuna disadvantage gani because the attempt parties is it parties ngine zote kumi with the front in person and i believe the ile una first you ni ulikora tafuta mheshimiwa makabich ndiye yeah. alifanikiwa katika mrengo ndiye alifanikiwa kupata heshima so <laughs> probably how does it affect uh, na hiyo ina play aje kwa local politics because uko juu mko in the same space but ukishuka hapa chini bungoma kuna dap kuna ford kenya kuna kuna g jubilee kuna nini hapo hivyo kwenye kanu and all other all these other parties Jay, how was it for you as a young person first and then being able to compete with these other peers when you were kwa chama moja okay and the experience about ya yeah, kusimama na chama for example kanu during the these elections and as in you it kwa bit tricky to yes. find out Mm-hmm. Now as new as an umbrella yes. and uh, there was there was there was a need to fill one candidate yes ile kitu tulikuwa sure nayo ni township ilikuwa as new that we were 100% sure yes but sasa unapata tulikuwa na competing parties yes in ya new though at the end of it one of us and ipata yes uh, we believe tulikuwa more stronger kama sisi wote tungeshikana and then to support this one candidate and then during the election wakati tulikuwa tunakaribia kura we, we, yes. we were having those conversation mm-hmm. at some time hata kulikuwa na propaganda ya kwamba Joel ndiye anasukuma <laughs> hao watu wote wakuje pamo, pamo pamoja pamoja yeah. to field one candidate Ura, you're, you're telling me that wakati while your campaign when you get the final is you come to a point where you wanted some of you to drop so that you you push one candidate mm, yeah yeah actually Yes. Yeah, I even initiated that conversation. Yes. I reached out to everyone. Yeah. And then uh, then uh, took a kuwa, like uh, we were going to have a meeting. Yes. With the governor's parents. Yes. When he had kuwa sasa to meet and then to agree on one candidate. Unfortunately that meeting never happened. Yes. Na unakuja unaona in terms of uh, funding mm. and um, umbrella of uh, coalition. Yes. Funding ni kwa ngumu sana kwa sababu we expected to get some financial uh support from our parties yes unfortunately that didn't happen what we were informed at the last meeting ni kwamba chama zimepeleka pesa mm. kwa the, the coalition now the coalition mm. ina ndio inagawa hii pesa kulingana na strength ya chama in particular yeah. regions so in this case i don't know if it's true but in this case to be a bungoma chama pesa ya bungoma ilipatiwa to dp <laughs> and whatever happened the big brother the big <laughs> came to the table yeah yeah yeah, yeah probably to can like and see vice city and it was dj vice akiwa pale anafanya kwenye trace radio i think you know him so well and i say big up i love you he say good stuff i love and also what is your take on bungoma politics mm. I love the second thing analyzer what is your way forward on the after this 2022 election now how will you help to manage youth and how but i think you just hold on to that and also if you're joining us kindly drop a comment engage us so that to join how can you engage all more and uh, probably here me pita up kwa mtunjo maybe you're looking to going into politics in 2027 there's a few things you can learn mm-hmm. and so i'm inviting you to also engage us our social media platforms to go up versus of Bungoma on Facebook you can also find us on Twitter on Twitter versus Bungoma on YouTube as usual but for now we get back to the conversation and Joel tells me kwamba pesa ya chama ilipeano but the problem is that ilipeano to the big brother mm-hmm. now pumegusa pesa mm-hmm. you're going into election mm-hmm. when a young man tumeona uh, when employment iko and also probably you're also having a family you have this personal needs but you're putting yourself in a public space how did you manage ikikuja ko funding ya siasa yako uh-huh. kwa vile unapata that people spending heavily and uh, what wanasema the past election was one of the most expensive mm-hmm. so for you how do you manage 
ku, ku raise the resources to take you through to the final uh, stage kitu moja naweza kubadiana kwamba sasa ya bungoma bila pesa ni ngumu sasa okay. bungoma inahitaji pesa yes. now uh, to uh, my funding sources yeah. i will, i'm lucky enough kukuwa na the people who believed in my dream Mm-hmm. Uh, utapata uh, 100% of my campaign will be supported by mm-hmm. my friends yeah. by my relatives yeah. so uh, right from the nomination time yeah. uh, my campaign team it required i had a team a committee a fundraising committee yes. that was made up of 10 people those are close friends yeah. and these people were com- contributing regularly to my yes. campaigns Yes. Uh, whatever you could do if I, i have a budget i could just share the budget with them and then they divide the budget amongst themselves and they support they support me that is yes. how i manage uh, to resource mobilize for my campaign mm-hmm. yes. so you're here saying that you, you had a few people yeah. probably kianda now mm-hmm. to the, to the there, there's something i'd like to pick from you na ni mara nyingi when you got in if you go back to your initial place unaambia kwamba ulikuja na the reason to serve mm-hmm. when you go to the politics of choosing a party now you have to go with where you fit mm-hmm. it has already changed the place you're headed mm-hmm. and all this dynamic your person in akuja how did that affect your ideology by the time you're going to speak about lot mm-hmm. were the goals that initially will come weka kwamba nikienda kwa siasa this is what i'm going to deliver the same by the time will come nesabu kura um okay ile strain yenye umepitia through the process yes ndio the goal itabaki i'm going to serve my people yes but again unaangalia unasema like there is a reason mbona wana siasa wanakujaga atapotea for these five years yes. and then atakuja the last minute yes. atununue and then apotee for another five years yeah. it's because uh, ni kama na uh, the way tuko mm. in a society ni yes tunaamini like to me put so much value on money yes because uh, if you realize uh, most i did my campaigns door to door yes and by the time we were, uh, we were doing this campaign one of my strategies yes ilikuwa now the finishing hiyo pesa tutapiga kutumia pale kwa finishing yes so la pata ile hiyo hiyo finishing Hayo mobilization hayo. mobilization <laughs> ya hapa in fact wakati wanakupanga wanakuambia hata pale kwa chama wanawaambia yes pesa ni ya kutumika siku ya mwisho two days to election yes. you are told up from yeah you are told up from yes. but again now come your two days to election ukipata hii pesa ile play a bigger role kwa mm-hmm. sababu utapata ule candidate mwenye alikuwa na bigger financial muscles yes. actually ndiye alikari the day mtu tunasema ule mtu mwenye alikuwa na finish kwa backing they are backing yes. the big brother yes yeah ndio hapo ndio alikuwa na advantage alikuwa na competitive advantage over most of us yes yes so how he he should it affect how did it affect your ideology political ideology during that period and also and once you once you talk also kiongea juu ya ideology yako vile ilikuwa affected probably positively or negatively I'd like us to take I'd like you to take us to the day I'm at the moment you realize by the hapa the sabi mekata what was your when did you what was the ta- that moment the eureka moment you feel ah hapa acha tutumalize lakini ah unajua uh, okay i i i mean i subscribe to a communism ideology yes. and i believe that a uh, political position is a is a is a community position yes. where everyone should gain depending on the needs how the efforts mm-hmm. that are may put in place mm-hmm. so uh we are going out here to serve people but now the same people that you are going to serve mm-hmm. uh, when i when you knock their door mm-hmm. you like to atakwambia ni mkono mtupu au laambui mm-hmm. you must give us something mm-hmm. for us to give you your vote yes so unapata now even you selling this agenda yes. the same person is hard because he anataka pesa ataki mwambie your ideology yes. now through the process towards the end let's say uh, three weeks yes. to the end yes uh, wakati tulikuja kugundua ya kwamba now walikuwa na, they were talking about zoning wakati mm-hmm. walikuwa nakuambia kwamba we are going to be zoned yes and kulikuwa na two different communication for our parties that yes. is when we realize hey hapa ni kama kunaenda kuumana mm-hmm. and hapa 
lazima tuende venye tuko because maji ukishavulia nguo lazima mm-hmm. no, no, no. yes. so hapo that to say three weeks in three weeks period ndio una realize ndio tuli realize eh hapa yes twende let's just be with our best church yes. yes so kuna there's a gentleman here anaitwa Brian Selly mm-hmm. uh, thank you Brian Selly for watching thank you sir na unasema uh, your day is coming kiongozi you are one man i trust with leadership you have served so well before uh, you joined this and then even sangura thank you evans for watching and are you in good terms with the elected mca and how do you associate with him kwa faida ya vijana wa township mm. yes sir so uh, should i yes i think uh, you can start with evans question okay. to the left okay so uh, after 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 the election actually um nearly, nearly, i was humbled yeah. na the the, how many people trusted you 613 people trusted me. Yeah. Congratulations on the first try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Congratulations man. 613. Yeah. That's the number. It's not just a number. Those yeah. are 613 families yeah. and people who trusted in your leadership. So thank you to the 613 people for trusting a young man Joel for this opportunity to serve. So probably what will be your take or your response to events? And another thing out of that 613 the most encouraging thing me. Yeah. Nilipata kura kwa kila polling station. Wow. You see now that is. Hakuna mali utakuwa mali nilitoka zero. Congratulations bond. Yes you know. Tuna question kubwa. So back to Evans. Um, yeah. Immediately after the election, uh, I tried to reach to the to reach out to the Jeremiah. Yes. Mheshimiwa Jeremiah the MCA membership yes. board. Yes. Na um, sikuweza kumpata lakini what have what ile kitu ile ni gusa kuhusu Jeremia yes, ni mwenyewe alikuja akanipigia simu yes. akanitafuta hiyo yes. wakati bado walikuwa kwa shughuli za mchagua speaker yes. kwa kwa hizo harakati yes. na akanitafuta akanieleza ya kwamba sasa hii yuko nje yes. anataka kirejea tuweze kukuwa na mkutano ili tuzungumze yes. tuone venye tunaweza kuwa licha zetu pamoja ili tusaidie community yetu yes. so wakati alirejea na akaniita na tukawa na yeye mazungumzo yes na nikamweleza vile vitu ambazo mawazo yangu ambayo nilikuwa nayo yes. na zile shughuli ambazo ninahusika nazo katika uongozi wa vijana mm-hmm. na ikawa immediately baada ya wakati tukakuwa na exercise ya kufanya poster training ya kutoa mm-hmm. posters zetu za mm-hmm. aspirants wote mm-hmm. na nikareach out kwa kila aspirants nikimwambia kwamba aweze mm-hmm. kunipatia watu wawili kutoka mm-hmm. kwa team yake tushikane mkono pamoja yes Uh, Jeremia alikubali kutusupport na alisupport hiyo exercise ambayo tulifanya. Yes. Na na ninaamini kwamba yule kiongozi ba... kesi kwa unasema post cleaning ilikuwa hiyo initiative yeah. as a person yeah, ilikuwa initiative my initiative. Ukaamua mnatoa posters tutoe si tao ni pesa. Okay. Utatueleza zaidi ya 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 clear that that's something that is very good because most of the time to lose that ataki kurudi that particular point. But uh, I think uh, Evans uh, I think that's Evans we are responding to. Yes, Evans. Now many combat list has given you that uh, there's a conversation. We'll just get back to that issue. Okay. I want him to respond to uh, to another issue uh, but you this is from Vice Exitati and I think Daniel to come back to it and Lisa your take on Bungawa politics I think that's the, the final thing to Maliza and I. Let's let me just take you further kulikuwa before we, we highlighted the question the, the issue nilipuliza kuhusu uh, when you realize let's say now wakati wana announce as much as probably kwa kitu there's always that ka hope that one when the account to come change the mind when they announce yes much much in my own and you knew you had lost how did you deal let's say like how was your first week after losing an election why it was tough just take me through your day like umeamka lejano usiku ile sababu by satano wame announce eh mheshimiwa makabich congratulations mheshimiwa na folk kuja pia tueleze story yako umeeleza okay mheshimiwa makabich ndio ameshinda where where we as <laughs> as joel the, just take us through your next day in kwa okay uh, so hiyo hiyo in fact hiyo see the journey you got funny talent to the parallel talent center yes na ikawa wakati tunaanza kufanya hii tarehe 
hiyo wakati pa hiyo process ya tali ndio tukagundua huyo Jeremia ni kama amechukua hiyo kitu actually yeah. atakwenda to the end of the tali yes. tulifika katikati ya tukakuwa ah tunene nipumze nikasema tu vizuri tena tupumze tupumze so yes. now uh, the next day kakuwa now bado pale unajua kuna agents bado hawajalipwa Yes. Mwana, na wale agent atataka kujua ka ulipita kura ama huku huku pita ama huku pita kura yako kazi yako kazi <laughs> so unapata ile next day bado unaamka kwanza mm-hmm. kusort mambo ya agents yes. na pia kuna wale watu ambao walikuwa wamesafiri yes. kutoka maeneo mengine kukuja kwa sababu ya kupiga kura kuna wale wageni ambao walikuwa wamekuja nyumbani yes. kwa sababu ya kura yes. kwa hivyo utaona hiyo sikia kwanza itakuwa kwa sio kwa mje eh sawa asante asante but um, never sema zile siku ambazo zilifuata mm. kulikuwa na never sema kitu kama a lot of emptiness because unaelewa ya kwamba mm. uh, shughuli zako mengi zilisimama Mhm. Unaacha kazi, unaacha kazi. Mhm. Ili ufanye siasa. <laughs> Aa, unapata pia yes. kuna zile vitu za familia ambazo ziziweka zisimame. Yes. Bills zilibaki pending. Yes. Na shule zimefunguliwa pia. So unapata immediate au una, unajipata una ile wakati wa kupumzika. Mm-hmm. Unaona eh lazima niamke na niendelee kutembea. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo wa uh, mimi wa ile kitu ambayo tulifanya baada ya hiyo kura yote nilirudi nikajikompose nika jiangalia nikaona eh hey, this is the situation mm. nikakubali na pia problem mm. just hold up a bit dogo ile kitu how long <laughs> kabla useme okay sasa ni wakati naweza kutoka nianze kuongelea issue because i you know unajua with the investment kutoka from uh, party membership to the ticket ni pesa nyingi imetumika now that you've lost and everything has gone back to, to zero what what point did you get to know okay, now i have to start and start moving forward lazima nianze hapa ni kisonga ah uh, never sema yeah, uh, like hiyo week tu ya ya uchaguzi na naweza shukuru sana uh, nimebarikiwa kukuwa na very strong support system yes uh, uh, kuna kuna wale watu ambao tulikuwa tunafanya nao kazi Yes. baada ya kabla ya uchaguzi. Ah yes. uh, yeye kuna there is kuna huyu rafiki yangu mmoja yes. ambaye immediately baada ya uchaguzi tuseme siku mbili baadaye akaricha uh, utakaniambia hey tabidi umerudi tuendelee na kazi. <laughs> so unapata <laughs> yes. kama yule anakusaidia kutoka kwa ile yeah, the support system yeah, yeah, iko karibu na wewe iko karibu na mimi. Yes. So. And uh, utapata pia financially mm-hmm. baada ya kula. Mm-hmm unapata si hauna kazi ndio yeah. si ulitumia pesa yote <laughs> <laughs> na watu lazima wakule na watu lazima wakule yes so unapata eh, tukiendelea hivyo jo yeah. thank you abraham gim for joining us tuko na paul wekesa you watching thank you so much you don't take that for granted um, yes and i can see some more people joining us apa i can see abraham says excellent interview and greatness in waiting i am inspired to have you Jelo Mondi in our Penta Lighters project to tumia ni nini okay. because we are ready to hold this typically mental leaders who lead by light mm. not by might and those who might compete to serve not just to win who compete to serve not just to win continue serving pe- people brother with or without the position you are vying for okay. that is from Abraham game okay. so probably tukiendelea mm. ulikuwa unatueleza now that uh, pesa pia miradi zimesimama ni mm. nini how also unajua yes people but how have you how's the process now imekuaje miezi mbili bwana hii miezi mbili imekuwa ngumu eh imekuwa ngumu lakini pia i bless the lord tunashukuru mpenye nimesema the support system yes mimi nimekuwa na watu wa kunishika like nimekuwa na fodba wakati niliaguka watu walikuja wakanishikilia hivi kwa hivyo unapata hata financially baada election nilikuwa mm. na watu bado walikuwa wana support yes. i still had people sending me money hey, try to solve this and this and this muendelee hivyo muendelee hivyo yes then uh, uh, one thing tumoja nikashukuru sana thank yes. you dada abraham jin yes uh, i think uh, he, he he saw the need baada ya kula 
Yes. And he is a founder of a Penta Lighter. Penta Lighter is, is an organization. Mm -hmm. It's like a support group. Mm -hmm. Wow. Into one into a safe space. Thank you, Mr. Abram. That's, that's not a book. We really appreciate that. Yeah, I can do it. Like, it's a teaching time. You know, yes. a, a safe space where to get back to our feet. Mm -hmm. We talk about our, mm -hmm. our issues. We talk about uh, the things we are going through. We share. Mm -hmm. It's a support group. Yes. And then, there uh, are programs that are working on us. We are is a mentorship program mm -hmm. that to develop this yes. Joel today. Ule Joel wa leo, na yes. Joel wa lazima, Joel wa kesho lazima kue beta kuliko Joel wa leo. Mm -hmm. So, wana tusaidia kutu mentor, kutusaidia, ili mm -hmm. kue beta position. Five years si long time. Yes, sir. And in, in five years, I believe, ile msaada mbao tunapata kutoka kwao, yes. kutawezesho wa tena, kurudi katika, he nafasi ya kusimama kura ambayo tumekuwa nayo na na believe na support yao tutakuwa yeah. stronger kuliko vile tumekuwa mm -hmm. 2017 2017 yes yes it's now 11:55 tuko ndani ya Ngoma TV with me is Joel Omondi mheshimiwa to na niambia nafaa kuheshimiwa mm -hmm. my name is Abel Sumi and we're just having a chat on youth and politics and how to deal with the loss after elections. So, when you go to Fraya, people have celebrated over and over. You may win, new positions have been created. But what happens? And right now, I'm a Lisa riding to him. What do they do? How do they cope with the situation? Follow us on uh, Facebook, Voices of Bungoma. Chat with us, kindly engage us. Uh, Lisa Maswali, um, I'll be able to share the same questions with Joel so that you can have. Uh, a better deliberation. So, Joel, yes. you've uh, really met with Leza Vizuri Kabisa when you shock Zeko. So, okay, when you've told me about Penta and uh, Penta Lighter, Penta Lighter, mm -hmm. and how your support, probably Kitugani Nyomona ni common na most of the aspirants, Kitugani no Asumboa, at this point, what is their lowest point? What causes that lowest moment? Niyo kuli kubetra yuwa, amu kwambo una invest based on trust, mm. una betra yuwa, ama what is the, the common response ya mepata once you, when you go to this, in, like for you, ni mwona tuwe nzako wa meza kwa na experience? Haa, uh, ile, ile experience, ni mime ni meona sana kutoka yeah. kwa aspirants wa nzamu, mm -hmm. ni kama disbelief, ni kama, kama venye umesema tu betrayal. Wako in denial. Wako in denial. Yeah. Na ndio kwa maana na shukuru Abdul Mjin mm -hmm. because ni hao wamekuja kutusaidia mm -hmm. to get out of this denial yes. stages of grief. Yes. So utapata tungechukua a lot of time kwa denial. Mhm. Mm Unaona mimi mimi kwanza as much as the reporter Yes, Yes, Yes sir. Mwambia mwishimewa sasa ajiu tumemaluza siyasa, tunaomba tutengeneze tawinye tuikue safi. Yes. Tulikuwa tunaomba kama naeza tupatia watu wawili wa katu wakujia wa kusayi. <laughs> Utapata kuna yula ambali nejibu, yeah. musta wacha watu wataribu. <laughs> <laughs> Yes sir. Yes <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mwezidi kutushika mkono mm -hmm. Kwa sababu Inje unezaona niko sawa yes. Lakini ndani siko sawa kabisa mm -hmm. Ndani ni naumia mm -hmm. Na ni, siko kuwa na watu karibu yangu mm -hmm. Zazingina ni muhimu kwe tukaribu Hata kama uniongeleshi yes. Lakini ile kukua karibu Unanipati ya mduvu Na pengine ukiongea hivo mm -hmm. Kuna kitu yetuwa discrimination mm -hmm. Na unajua pengine Watu wengi wa encounter mm -hmm. Unaweza kuwa mesimamu unajua umetumia pesa watu wamekuita mheshimiwa mm. uh, assumption is that you have money uh, probably na pengine kwa group yenu kuna hata nyama nyimwa nafasi za kuandikwa kwa vile ulisimama ujaribu kusimama governor ama ujaribu kusimama 
kitu fulani kwa vile na assume uta ask for a lot in terms of pay ama vitu kama hizo as that been an issue for most people probably when you are ku kutafuta nafasi baada ya kuanguka kura and ile kuna wakati ambao niliona there is one sister yes mimi alikuwa beta sana yes in fact alikuwa anasema about the nomination yes alikuwa anasema kwamba haoni haja ya chama yes. kuchagua watu kunominate watu yes. ambao hawajahusika yes. katika uchaguzi yes. na watu wache sisi ambao tumesimama <laughs> <laughs> Domination anze na wale nyalumia. Yeah, domination anze na wale. Joel ali alisimama township. Yes. Kwa hivyo nomination ya 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 county assembly inapa anze na ali anze na yeye ambaye ni mtu asiende kuchukua yule mtu ambaye yes. alikuwa. Na pia kukakuwa na suggestion bado tuko na group nyingine ambayo inaitwa uraia ambayo imebeba young politicians, young, young politicians, yes. young aspirants. Mm-hmm. Na kukawa na hiyo suggestion ya kwamba wale watu ambao walisimama na wakupata nafasi mm-hmm. waweze kuwafikia wale ambao walipata nafasi mm-hmm. ili tuone kama tunaweza saidiana kufanya mm-hmm. kazi ama kupata kazi tuseme kwa mfano vitu kama tenda mm-hmm. ili tufanye kazi pamoja mm-hmm. na pia kukakuwa na mawazo ya kwamba hiyo ni ku ni kurudi kubekujinyeza <laughs> kwa yule mtu ambayo amekushinda amekushinda na labda tena mtakutana kwa kura Yes. Kwa hivyo it all goes to the support system. Yes. If you have a strong support system in the end of the stand. Yes. If you have a weak support system. Yes. Yes. So we would turn back to the question ya uh, DJ Vaisek ama unaweza muita Vaisek Sitati aliuliza swali hapo akasema eh uh, kwanza kwa bwe congratulations sana kwa ku good thing this through. But akauliza swali akasema now what is your take on the current state of Bungoma? of the leadership. We know there's a lot in the land. Uh, uh, right now we are anticipating a cabinet from your the of course the committee is mm-hmm. from your county assembly. Now where well, as a person a stakeholder kwa space kuna venye that issue uh, most probably unaweza kuwa na better insight. How wh- wh- what is how do you see the current state of Bungoma? Now probably if I if I may what is the the the, the way way forward? Unaona kunaenda kuwa vipi? saizi kungoa. Mm. Ile kile kitu ambacho naweza sema mimi naona ikiwa mu, itakuwa muhimu tukipatia wale viongozi ambao wamechaguliwa nafasi mm. ya uongozi. Ni naona ni kama haitakuwa vyema kuanza kuangalia sahihi ya kwamba wataweza kutimiza na wataweza kutimiza. Mm-hmm. Kwa kuwa pia hao wakati walijitokeza kusimama walikuwa na maoni Mm-hmm. Na nina imani na uongozi ambao tuko nayo sahi yes. Na najua ya kwamba uongozi huu utaweza kusongeza Bungoma kutoka kutoka kiwango kimoja hadi kiwango kingine. Yes. Na others kutakuwa na mambo mawili matatu ambao labda hayatakuwa yanaenda sawa. Mm-hmm. Lakini kile ambao naweza sema na uongozi wa Bungoma ya sasa ni kwamba tuwapatie nafasi yes. tuone kile ambacho wanaweza fanya. Najua wataweza kusaidia na aweza kujengeka pamoja. Ndio. Yeah. Um uh, tukiendelea ningependa nao sasa waongelee kwa mayuth. Mm. Kuna jamaa kwa hapo nje probably hana kitu. Anasema mimi siwezi simama kwa vile as much as kuna wale tunaongelea loss kuna vijana pato ba ambao pia wamepata nafasi na wakapitwa kuna kesi nzuri ya mheshimiwa Salasia mm. na wengine wengi. Mm. Sasa wewe kama kijana pengine unaweza look into the camera before to the late what do you tell that young person in your college or up in an your drive your some mean attack to serve uh, my people mm-hmm. despite my financial situation ama nini na, na feel kwamba niko na capacity mm-hmm. and I want to serve probably what would be a message so that we, we we look into the final bit of the interview okay uh, my message to the young people to the aspiring young leaders out here yes. is that uh, one fact is you can never start at the top and uh, if you are waiting for perfect condition to do something mm-hmm. you never get anything done mm-hmm. so uh, you just start the way you are i i didn't have any money i don't have any money and if i had to look at my financial muscles to be able to buy in this election i wouldn't have even been in the ballot paper uh, i believe uh, i believe in my potential and i've seen cases where young people are come out 
offer themselves for leadership position and they manage to get this position even without the financial part of it. Wengine wanaenda kulikuwa na na a story about a young man who was campaigning using donkeys and he won the election. He's now an NCA. So there is this other MP from Kakamega County. Mwenye alikuwa anaandika jina yake kwa mahali, kwa mahali. This guy now is an MP. So you should start small. You never know where you will end up because uh, looking at myself I might not have won the election but I'm not where I was before the election. I've developed, I've built a network. I mean, and your network is your network. I can reach out to more people. So you have to go out, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to be. It doesn't want to be too to be Swahili. Na ujiamini, ya kwamba kila kitu kinawezeka. Na usieke pesa mbele, wacha pesa ikufuata, pesa itakufuata. So ni kujituma, tuna kujiamini. Na pia na shukuru sana, katika uchaguzi niliona vijana wengi sana walikuwa De, ukiangalia vijana ambao walisimama uchaguzi uliopita na vijana ambao wamesimama e, vijana walikuwa wengi sana kwa hivyo najua pia uchaguzi ambao unakuja tutakuwa na vijana wengi ambao watajitolea kusimama so pengine as we continue tukienda mali ya mwisho uh, na for anyone who's joining us right now this is voices of bungoma kipindi ni ch- bungoma chats and today tuko very honored kwa na mheshimiwa Joel Omondi hapa ndani ya hii studio yetu uh, makeshift studio and we are talking about youth and politics basically tukiangalia how to deal na loss ya ya kit baada ya ku invest yote yani watu wako wameshakula fea yako <laughs> <laughs> na ofiki polling station uh, or uh, ofiki na naona unaambia hapo according to you personally when will our people stop politicizing everything and start talking about development and good leadership kwa vile inakaa hiyo ni challenge na anasema um, uh, kuna mwingine anasema we still be your soldiers because we still believe in your le- youthful leadership thank you na tukiendelea so final uh, statement probably kabla tumalizia mm-hmm. uh, i'd love for you to just tell us ndio mpoteza are you going to do unaenda fanya oversight kwa hii miaka tano ambayo uh, kiongozi uh, makabiti yamechukua ama what what are you going to do between now na hiyo miaka tano tunafaa ku expect in what spaces to kuona and also what can we do as youth mapema kuanza ku prepare so that to start with off guard mm-hmm. wakati wa kura kufika please kwa kwa one thing kwa ya ambayo itafanya one of the things I'm going to fanya yes. in this five years kwanza ita support mheshimiwa wa Jeremia kwa kuwa yeye ndiye alishinda kura na nikipata nafasi tutaweka vichwa zetu pamoja ili tuone jinsi ambavyo tunaweza kusaidia community zetu uh, kuna zile programs ambazo najua tukizianzisha pamoja na tukikaa pamoja zitakuwa za msaada kwa watu wetu kwa hivyo tutashikana pamoja na yeye tufanye miradi za kusaidia sana sana vijana lakini pia hatutasema kwamba tutakuwa pale kumsupport tu tutakuwa pale pia kuweka ku, ku, checks uh, tutakuwa karibu sana na yeye mahali ambapo tutaona na kosa mwelekeo tutatumia mbinu zote all 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 resources at our disposal to correct him ili aweze kurudi back on track na pia naye anajua ya kwamba miaka tano si mingi na sisi bado ni viongozi ambao ndio tumetokea sasa zile projects ambazo nimekuwa nikifanya kwa community bado nitaendelea kufanya nitaendelea ku nimekuwa engaged in social accountability nimekuwa engaged in advocacy program nimekuwa engaged in mental health programs na hizo ni programs ambazo mimi mwenyewe personally nilianza kuzifanya kabla hata nianze kufikiria kuingia katika siasa kwa maana najua umuhimu wa program hizi katika community yetu kwa hivyo bado tutaendelea na zile initiatives ambazo tumekuwa tunafanya na najua kwamba sasa hivi tuko na wider scope ya kufanya zile programs ambazo tumekuwa tunafanya kwa hivyo i'm still in the community mm. and i'm ready for help whenever needed so uh, thank you so much dugu Thank you for creating time. Sana. You've been watching Voices of Bungoma. My name is Abel Simiu na tunakuwa tunaongea na mheshimiwa Joel Omondi ni mheshimiwa kwa vile ali take enough time kwenda to check the risk and he has run. 
He tried the course, hakuweza kushinda but he came out number number 4. Number 4. So there are only three more slots na unafika pale juu. Let's continue having conversations. You remember unaweza tupata kwenye Facebook Voices of Bungoma TV, kwenye YouTube Voices of Bungoma TV. Engagers unaweza tupata kwenye WhatsApp ukienda on our Facebook. There's a WhatsApp tab um a tab. Unaweza click on it na itakufungua iku you can direct to whatsapp you can chat with us come up on a story in your number to nafaku cover we are always available to tell stories about bungoma for bungoma to the world so anytime you have a story can share with us and we'll be bringing you more content as the weeks go by but just to say congratulations dugu and the lab skuma and we see on the ballot in 27 bado nasimama thank you so much and have a good afternoon thank you